Hi guys, just making a short video today on the topic of tidal diamonds. Uh, that's because my next video will be starting with this topic uh, and focusing on how to counteract for the effects of current to find the course to steer. Now these tidal diamonds are very useful uh, to provide us with the information on the currents acting in a particular ocean area. So the tidal diamonds are called the tidal diamonds because you can see the diamond shapes at the top of the uh, chart here and the diamond shapes or the rhombus shapes have the letters there inside it. All right. So tidal diamonds are actually symbols uh, available on the nautical chart that indicate the direction and the speed of tidal streams. Uh, and they consist of a capital letter inside uh, the diamond or the rhombus. Uh, and they are basically colored. They're normally colored in pink. So on any particular chart, each tidal diamond uh, will have a unique letter starting from A and continuing alphabetically. So somewhere on the chart, and particularly on the land portion, there is a tidal diamond table that looks like this. So this tidal diamond table contains a grid of 13 rows and about three columns for each diamond. The three columns show the bearing or the set or the direction of the tidal stream and its speed uh, and the resulting drift or the rate of the current in knots. And this happens at both spring tide and neap tide. So DIRN stands for direction of the stream. That is the set of the tidal stream. Uh, the rate is of course the speed of the tidal stream. And the SP stands for spring tides and NP stands for neap tides. So the 13 rows are the hours of the tidal cycle showing the six hours before high water, the high water itself and six hours after high water. So this is where HW comes in. So HW stands for high water. All right, the times on the table that you see are related to the high water of the standard port, or the reference port. So there are secondary ports, which are smaller ports, and uh, they are normally in reference to the standard port or the bigger port, which is the closest bigger, bigger port in reference to the secondary port. All right, there can also be a low water slack water before flooding, and there can also be a high water slack water before ebbing, when the tidal flow turns and changes direction. Now, during ebbing and flooding, the rates are the strongest. All right, so the speed of the current are the strongest during the ebbing and flooding. An alternative to a tidal diamond is also a tidal atlas, which I'll talk about later in some other video. And tidal atlases, although they are more accurate and easier to use, easier to use, they are not really always available. So this is uh, just a short video today on tidal diamonds. These are drawn normally on the paper charts somewhere in the corner. And if you see these, you know that you can find out the information regarding the currents acting in that particular ocean area. All right. So I'll see you soon with my next video, which will be on finding the course to steer by counteracting for these effects of currents, the information about which you get from the tidal diamonds. I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye guys.